It is difficult to speak of Islam in Cuba in any unified sense because the story of Islam and Muslims in the Caribbean is characterized by both a long multifaceted history and modern miscellany. There is no past or present uniformity in progeny, perspective, or practices. Nonetheless, the classification offers a geographically focused and categorically complex frame of reference to consider often overlooked aspects in the region and of the global Islam. Stretching from the long 16th century to the present day, the narrative of Islam and Muslims in and of the Caribbean as one of the colonial power and cosmopolitanization, contested history and concurrent heterogeneity, global connectedness and local complexity. But how did Islam get to the Cuba? In general, the story of Islam and Muslims in and of the Caribbean stretches back to the mid-16th century and can be divided into four parts. In this video, I'm going to talk about the first one. Number one, new converted and present Muslim Spaniards who were being sent to the far country of Cuba. Some historian says that when the Spaniards came and discovered Cuba, many of the sailors who came in those three ships had been taken out of the prisons to take them on such a long trip and without the hope of returning home, many of these men had been imprisoned for being Muslims or for having been Spaniards that had converted to Islam. However, these are only suppositions, there is nothing certified to corroborate it. Stay tuned for the part two. Bye!